Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. Back again with a light hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and see what's cooking. 15 year old copyright girl finally gets her revenge on the copyright police. And always smile when you're in Thailand. Suspects arrested for the rebel attack in Thailand's south. Land dispute leads to murder in Shang Jin, Shang Rai, Thailand. And China's desperate new policies to bring back the West. And some new arrests for criminals hiding in Thailand. China's Valentine's Day flowers for Thailand. But first up, major stores to stop giving out plastic bags by 2020. Fantastic news for Thailand. Major stores in Thailand to stop giving out plastic bags by 2020. Very good news for the environment. The Thai government approves bans on plastic bags. The Thai cabinet has approved the bans of single-use plastic bags in shopping malls, supermarkets, convenience stores, starting from January the 1st, 2020. A government spokeswoman said the agreement is part of a roadmap to eliminate plastic bags by 2030. It is expected that the amount of garbage produced by plastic bags, 225 ton per year. This will help reduce Thailand's garbage bill by 340 million baht per year. The Thai government earlier said it would ban three types of plastics, microbeads, capsules and OXO degradable plastic by the end of the year. What it boils down to, convenience will be slightly reduced to extend the life of the environment. I think everyone's a winner with that one. Aren't you going to miss getting your drink in a plastic bag and spilling it down the front of yourself? Well, finally a happy ending. The 15-year-old girl arrested for making making floats for the Kratong Festival and accused of using copyright material. TAC, the representative of the Japanese copyright holder Sane X Cartoon, denied it had assigned anyone to work with police on a copyright sting operation. Police have also confirmed that the characters on the float did not really represent the copyright cartoon characters so there was no violation occurred. Police were expanding their investigation after more than 40 vendors filed complaints against the same agents, alleging they also sought police action against them in a copyright sting to extort fines. Nikon Rochasima police said on Monday the investigation was nearly complete and that police would request court warrants by the end of this week for the copyright police and also the copyright police agents have not been named as yet this is all in response to a schoolgirl being charged with copyright infringements and being set up and bear in mind she was making these floats to further her education and pay her school fees as her parents are very poor Johnny so I am reporting always smile journey a not-for-profit group. They raise funds to provide free English classes for underprivileged people. The fundraiser was held on Phuket Island with a number of artists, musicians, providing entertainment for all and also raise some much-needed funds. Johnny out. Seven suspect rebels have been arrested in Thailand's violence wreak south as manhunts sweep through remote villages for gunmen who killed 15 in an ambush, considered the deadliest attack in years. Thailand's three southernmost provinces have been in a grip of a simmering 15-year conflict that has killed more than 7,000 people, and the majority who are innocent civilians, as Malay Muslim militants fight for more autonomy from the Thai state. On a Tuesday night, an ambush in Yala province on two checkpoints manned by Muslim and Buddhist civilian defence volunteers 
were massacred. It is believed up to 30 to 40 people were involved in the attack and no faction has taken responsibility for this crime as yet. All suspects have been moved to a military prison, the army's biggest detention centre where rights groups have documented torture. A Muslim man who was detained there in July was left in a coma after an interrogation session. An army investigation found that his death could have been due to suffocation and apparently anger has snowballed over this incident. A simple land dispute leads to murder in Chiang Sen, Chiang Rai, Thailand. A husband and his wife have been found murdered in Chiang Sen district. Police attended after being notified of the death by the village headman. At the scene, police found that the bodies both had strangulation marks on their necks. The surrounding area where the two victims were located showed no signs of struggle and all their equipment and belongings were untouched. Police believe the murderers numbered two or more. According to statements from the police investigation, a neighbour claimed there was issues over a land dispute. The deceased had sold road access to other villages as a way to enter their land. However, after the transactions, he demanded more money from the villagers to access their land, and this may have resulted in their murder. The murder is still being investigated, and there is no clear indication of who the murderers were at the present time. China's new desperate policies to lure back investors into China. Yes, China has rolled out 20 measures friendly to foreign investors, which includes further removal of business restrictions and leveling the playing field for foreign businesses to safeguard a more fair, transparent and predictable business environment for foreign enterprises, with pledges to continue shortening the national free trade zone negative list for foreign investments and to eliminate restrictions outside the negative listings. Also including the lowering of costs of cross-border capital used and make it easier for foreigners to work in China. The country will also strengthen the protection of legitimate interests of foreign investors, fully implementing their foreign investment law. Basically they won't copy your goods if you take them there and they won't make a copy of it. That's what they're trying to say in that sentence, I think. But uh, wouldn't you have that implemented from day one? But they're just bringing it in now. Wow. Also improve the intellectual property rights protection mechanism and strictly ban forced transfer of technology. I don't know. I think the uh, China-US trade war is starting to take bad effect on China. The West is leaving China and China's trying to get them back. I don't know. Maybe they're leaving all this a little bit too late. There are two new arrests made by the immigration police relating to criminals hiding in Thailand. The first arrest is a Burmese man wanted in Myanmar on an arrest warrant. While the second man arrested is a Chinese man with a fraud case including damages of over 85 million baht. The Thai immigration police were informed of the Burmese man, a man with an arrest warrant in Burma. Officials tracked back his travels in Thailand and did not find any information coming in or leaving Thailand since 2017. The investigation discovered security camera footage that shows him arriving at Sawinapum Airport. Officials believe he entered the country illegally. New information showed that Soi had checked into a hotel in Parangon, Bangkok. Police found him in his plan and the arrest was made. The second arrest was Chin, a 45-year-old who was on the run from fraud charges in China back in 2013. Chen handed in fake contract and financial credit details to documents to a bank in China. He was applying for a loan. It's alleged his damages caused 85 million baht. Officials discovered that Chen had a history of showing that he had been hiding in Chambri province and had overstayed his visa. Both men have been arrested. This Valentine's Day in Thailand, you could be buying your roses directly from China. Flower growers from Kunmin in China, southwest China's Yan'an province, 
The flower growers there have never been to Thailand, yet the roses they have grown and planted have gained popularity in the nation's capital. Weeks before Valentine's Day, they begin to pick fresh flowers for Bangkok markets. And check this out, 40 hours later, thanks to the Kunming Bangkok Highway, which complements the new Belt and Road Initiative, they're in Bangkok markets for sale. Thailand is a key overseas market for the flowers, exporters from Kunming. Compared with other flower growers like the Netherlands and Africa, Kunmin is much closer to Bangkok with a lower transport cost and price advantage. China and Thailand agreed to build the China-Thailand Railway into successful examples of bilateral cooperation within the Belt and Road Initiative framework. Isn't that lovely? And now you can get fresh flowers in Bangkok all the way from China within 40 hours. Fantastic. So this Valentine's in Bangkok, if you're in Bangkok, the fresh flowers are coming from China, so you can say, Happy Valentine's Day from China! Thanks to the Belt and Road Initiative.